Hi, it's Nuisance from New Horizons. Today we're looking at mail merges. Well, not, we're not looking at the process for mail merge. What we're going to look at is basically when we complete a mail merge, we've got some fields in it, like this address block field. And we're gonna, I'm going to show you what that does uh, as well in a minute. And what we've also got here is we've got a little a field here called an if end field, if then end field. Basically, if the salutation title is blank, it's going to put in Sir Madame. Otherwise, if it's not blank, it's going to put in merge field title and merge field last name. Now those merge fields are actually up here and we're, we're not going to actually use this to put them in. We're going to actually use the box when we go to rules if then else and we're going to structure that all over again. Now when we come to a mail merge and we come to this part we can put the address block in. This address block is that down there and it's wise to put that address block because if any um, line of the address is blank it will skip that in the address and what we need to look at here is we've got a re recipient list here and it's already attached to our letter and if we click on edit recipient list we can see we have one two three four five six seven recipients and at least two of these recipients in our mail merge Mindy and Chris have no um, title attached to their name the idea here is basically what we're going to do is when we actually scroll through these and you can see the result of that, that field coming up here we'll actually turn on the address block as well we'll go preview results and it will show us that when we go through them we'll go through this we'll actually go through that edit recipient list this preview results in if I go through each record when we go to somebody like Mindy it will go dear Sir Madame because in the edit recipient list her title is blank so that's what we're going to come up with we're going to do it again so that we can see how we go around doing it. We go about doing it. And it'll do the same for Chris Carr here, dear sir, madam. So how do we go about structuring that if? Well, the first thing we need to do is we need to get on a line here. We're going to get on this blank line. And we need to go to rules. And we've got if then else. right? And normally we'd have the dear before that, but we're just doing it down here. And we're going to insert this text. If the title is equal to blank, which is what that is there. Yeah. We're gonna say put in sir slash madame. And we'll leave it to the writer to figure out who's a sir and a madame. They can delete that as they see fit. Otherwise insert this text. Now the text we want it to insert. That's it. I'm just gonna cancel this and go back into it. The text we want it to insert is this title and the last name. Because if that is filled in, if the title's there, we want it in there, we want to use it. So we're going to insert this title and last name. We just have to make a note of these, okay? Because we're going to use them in our merge, in our if then merge box. So let's go back. If then else, the title is equal to blank. Insert this text, sir slash madam. Otherwise, we're going to insert that merge field. Now, what we need to do is we need to press Control, hold down our Control key, and press F9 above the numbers key, F9 on the function keypad. So control and F9 will give us what we call a field, yeah, those curly braces. And we've got to tell it what kind of field it is. And this field is, if I type in, a merge field. Now I've got to put this in in um, uppercase. So I've turned on my uppercase. And we know it's a merge field. We know it's recognized it's a merge field. The first merge field we want is, and I'm going to turn off my uppercase now, is title. I'm just going to put a space there and I'm going to type in title. So T-I-T-L-E. I'm going to come out of that brace by using my arrow keys on the keyboard or I could click here. I'm going to press the space. So now I'm outside of that merge field. And I'm going to insert another one by pressing hold down my control key and press F9. Now, now I've done that, I can now type in merge field again. Remember uppercase, I'm going to put on my caps lock, merge field, fight ELD, let me hopefully not misspell that. Take off my caps lock and what I'm interested in here is the last name now. We remember rightly, last name was L A S T underscore N A M E. And that's last name. So now I'm just going to get rid of that little space there, just there. And at the end of title, I'm just going to click in that field brace. So now this grey is telling me, let me get rid of these little spaces here. This grey is telling me now that once um, it checks, if a title is blank, so it will insert. So, madam, if it's not, it will insert the merge field title and merge field last name. And we'll see how that works. So, if I click on OK, 
we'll see in this instance it inserts sir and madame now and we can see that and if I go through the different records now you can see it puts in Mr. Day for Danny obviously I haven't put Day in here right now if we want to look at how that actually works we need to right click on here it's a bit fiddly I have to admit I actually find it very fiddly to get the score to go toggle field codes and as we can see when we toggle that field code we'll get the merge of cold type we don't type in here or anything we'll click on Lawson and we'll go toggle field codes and we get merge field last name now if we just click out of that that field just there and we go toggle field codes it, it automatically changes back to Mr. but we've got to be careful I want to try and get to that if so I'm going to toggle the field codes again and if I go through I'm going to go back in there and see if I can toggle the code within here outside of it I'm going to right click here and I'm going to toggle the field code and we'll get the if can we see if Mr. and now it's gone back to Mr. Lawson now when we get this if we can go back in and toggle this toggle the field code so that we get within that the actual name we toggle that field code and we can see the original statement it's pretty tricky to get it displaying the if and mister and all that kind of stuff so you gotta you gotta bear with that you gotta try and persevere with that but that's the end result but I've shown you how to do it by using the if if we go up here if we go if then else and then we press control and F9 and remember merge field then the name of the field and to get the name of the fields that you want to insert remember they're all here they're all in this list here so last name if I wanted first name I'd have to do first underscore name and exactly as you see it there and when I insert the actual field remember I've got to press control 9 but I've got to say it's a merge field and type that in uppercase hope that helps thanks for watching bye for now